Hey, today I want to talk to you about one of the most addictive substances in the world. Now, I'm not going to talk about cocaine, although you know that's addictive, right? I'm going to talk about something even more addictive than cocaine, and that is sugar. And I know you love sugar just like I love sugar, but I'm going to tell you today that there are five sugars that you should completely avoid or types of sweeteners let me say that you should absolutely mark off your diet never have these five and i'm going to give you a six that's a surprise and a bonus but let's start with the number one sweetener that you never want to have in your diet and that is aspartame Aspartame, also known as NutraSweet, is a chemical and is extremely toxic. And if you don't believe me, just Google it. Look it up and see for reactions. You'll see that there's 92 reactions recorded with the CDC about this one product. You'll also see they have tens of thousands of calls because of this product, more than any other chemical in the world today. So this is to be avoided at all costs. It is a neurotoxin. It is an excitotoxin. That means it upregulates cells and even leads to cell death. It's addictive. It can cause headaches and all kinds of other problems. No go. Off the list. Number two, high fructose, okay? Fructose corn syrup, okay? And you probably think, oh, that's from corn. It must be okay, right? No, it's not because it's processed in such a way that it's high, it's very sweet, number one. Number two, it has to be reduced in the liver, which puts stress on your liver and causes problems there. So high fructose corn syrup also can have mercury in it, sometimes even can have gluten in it to be avoided at all costs. I know high fructose corn syrup. Number three, sucralose, okay? Sucralose, also known as Splenda, is also an artificial sweetener. It's got a lot of problems with it in a way it's metabolized inside the body. Can be also excitatory to cells, also can put stress on the liver. It's empty calories, very sweet, upregulates your, your you know, neurocenters for taste, makes you increase insulin production, even from just having, even though your sugar levels don't go up in your bloodstream from this, it causes you to increase insulin levels because the brain senses the sweet. So avoid sucralose. Then we got fructose, okay? Fructose is from fruit, okay? But what if it's concentrated? That means that basically all the fiber's been taken out of it. It's been, been concentrated to a point where it's super sweet, high levels of sugar. Fructose also must be broken down inside the uh, liver, so putting stress on your liver again. And you see these drinks all the time, and this would be those fruit drinks that are 10% fruit, okay? And the rest of it is just sugar water, okay? So avoid fructose, okay? Unless it's in the natural state, like in the fruit itself, where it has the fiber and the other nutrients in with it to help slow down the uh, spike in sugar and also to give you nutrients to process it, okay? Then number five, you already know, white sugar, right? Okay, because it's extremely processed. It's empty calories. It is... Um, it is going to cause a, a sugar spikes. It's going to actually deplete minerals out of your body to process and metabolize and break this down. So it's not adding any uh, value to your health. It's actually taking away nutritious value from your health as well as causing your sugar and your insulin to go up. By the way, just one soda a day for a month will give you one pound to two pounds of sugar per month. That's a lot of sugar to take in just in your drinks. And then the bonus, because a lot of people like this, but I got to tell you, it's a lot of fructose and, and, uh, and this is in agave, okay? Agave is made, okay, from a plant, okay? And so because of that, it is does have a high level of fructose and it's better than these artificial ones, but it's still not the best option for you. So in the next video, I'm going to give you the top five types of sweeteners you can use, okay, and actually be beneficial to your body and not harmful. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. 
If you like this information and you want more, just click the subscribe button below. Leave me your comments. I'd like to know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Until then, live life well, and God bless.